Hi everyone, Nathan Hall here. We're going to talk a little more about ecology. Last time we talked about food chains, ecosystems. This time we're going to take a look at biodiversity. And here's an example, Puerto Rico. Lot of it there, lot of biodiversity. You got your little coquis, you got your sharp shinned hawks, you got these flowers. And as you can see on this map, lots of places where they're dying out. <laughs> There could be some coquille totally dead by the, in your lifetime. One thing we'll talk about, what happens if, it, if the animals die out? What if there are no more of these hawks, these sharp-shinned hawks in Puerto Rico? Well, what would happen if a type of flower died out? This is one that's also endangered. So this lesson, talk about we'll talk about scientific issues and biodiversity. So throughout the years, we've all used to use natural resources. You can see here in the very early days of civilization, you had to use some Taino examples here. We used stone, we used wood. Took us a while to get to metal, took us a while to get to oil. Those still come from the environment. And this comes down to renewable versus non-renewable resources. Trees are renewable, we can grow new trees. Non-renewable takes millions of years to make oil and that's gone it's gone for millions of years non-renewable so talking about biodiversity one thing that endangers it pollution we talked about chemical change before stuff that's released into the air and water chemicals changes the way the water is we get fish kills dead fish can kill plants all this plastic can go in biodiversity declines in particular, air pollution. This came up talking about um, chemical changes. Yeah, here's a picture of China. Here's a picture of acid rain. It can destroy parts of our nation. So here's some questions you have to answer for the homework. In particular, this one. Are there ecosystems in the ocean? Big thing to remember, Aquaman is in charge of all of the ocean. He, that gives him domain over two-thirds of the earth. He's actually tougher than Superman. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So, chemical spills, oil spills, all these things. They can go into the water. They kill off the creatures. Here's one example of something that's, so when it destroys the habitat where they live, the biodiversity decreases, the ecosystem can be destroyed. Here's one example. This is a bird called a passenger pigeon. Used to be millions of them. So many would black out the sky. Last one was shot to death a hundred years ago. Now they're all extinct. So we'll take a look at this guy, this gold coqui, the coqui dorado. He may very soon be extinct. How can we save them? Well, something else we'll talk about, pollution across systems. Yeah, volcanoes make them, factories make them too. They go in the water, they go in the air, they go inside you. It's kind of thing we'll talk about with our graphic organizer assignments coming up. So habitat loss, you can see here, we've been animals in this forest, now they're all dead. That's kind of what's happening in Puerto Rico. They're tearing down forests, cutting things down. We talked In some classes we talked about these guys. Oh, they're losing their homes too. Why would we cut down forests? How can animals get new habitats? So, the habitats can also change. Coquis dying out in Puerto Rico. In Hawaii, they hate coquis. They try to kill them all the time. You'll see these ugly little things in Pennsylvania. They're called Japanese beetles. They come from Japan about a hundred years ago. Why did that not come through? And they're annoying. We hate them. We want them all dead. Something else we got from Japan. Kutsu. Not a big deal in Pennsylvania. Go to Georgia. It takes over entire towns. <laughs> Here it grows about a foot a day. Took over this guy's car. Going crazy down there. So, the Earth has about 10 million different species. Thousands are threatened. So, if one species goes, it can hurt the old ecosystem. But, it hel but the biodiversity helps us. We get a lot of, we still get what we use from nature. Our medicine comes from plants. Our tools come from metals and wood. We still need these things. Here's an example of some drugs we get from from various plants. If those go extinct, we're out of luck. So for the homework, you'll have to answer some questions about biodiversity. You'll have to know the words that I put in here. I'm not differentiating them. The goal here is to see how well we can grasp them in context. And from there, we will...
take some time to go over these in the live class. Any questions, just let me know. I'll do what I can for you. Adios for now.